Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Snark Fest. Today, with the rise of the last Jurassic Park movie coming out in a month or so, we're going to get into Jurassic Park. Yay! I love this movie. Marie, not so much. Um, yeah. I get like scared of dinosaurs. Everybody has their fear. Like like I've said, I don't like spiders. I don't actively fear spiders, but I will actively kill them. So, Who doesn't? Uh, yeah, so I mean, everybody has their fears, so it's loud. Um, well, this movie was this movie marked really the beginning of this of computer generated images because because oh my god, the graphics are amazing. And because I remember when I watched this in high school, which at this point was fifteen years ago, but had been fifteen years after the movie came out, I remember them. They still stood up and looked fantastic. Yes. No, but I was going to say, because when this movie was coming out, they were thinking, oh, we're going to have to use stop motion all the time. We're going to have to use stop motion. But then it was literally like, oh, by the way, we can do this. And Steven Spielberg, I mean, it was just mind-blowing. And uh, Paul Tibbet, the, I, special director, the special effects director on this, said, well, I'm extinct <laughs> because of that. So I thought Steven Spielberg, like, he didn't really want to do CGI because at the time it wasn't that great. And he he's like he thought he would get better special effects using traditional means, but somebody like was like, just hold on and see what we can do. They showed him and they showed him a clip of the Dalamuses. Yeah, and when he saw it, he was so impressed that he let them do it. But in this movie, it is a mix of um, not stop motion, but it's CGI, it's but they also do a lot of practical stuff mm -hmm. too, though, which I think is also why the special effects are so good. Yeah. Uh, most of the stuff with the Tyrannosaurus is is real. Uh, the Triceratops that we see is 100% real. Uh, that reminds me of a whole situation that arose from that. But yeah, a lot of the dinosaurs are real, but a lot of them are CGI. And it's and it's just it's astounding because it's really hard to tell them apart. So, um, and I remember this movie came out in 93, so I was four years old. I wasn't allowed to watch it when I was four, but I was pretty sure I was watching it probably by the time I was five. <laughs> As soon as it came out on video, me and my friends were watch were probably watching it during sleepovers or whatever because my parents my my parents were strict. My friends were not so much. Uh, I just remember starting kindergarten, and most of my class had seen the movie. Yeah, so. and like because ever all the little kids thought it was funny when the guy gets eaten off the toilet. The so Lord. I hadn't seen it in theaters because my parents are. They weren't movie people. They didn't like taking us to the movies till we were older. But anyway, my dad got it for Christmas that year and uh, they watched it. And I remember like, I watched, they had no problems with me watching it with them, but I totally didn't sit through the whole movie because I thought it was scary. <laughs> I definitely left a few times, but like kept coming back because I knew all of my like classmates had seen it. And I wanted to see it, too, to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, I and fine. I also have read the book, so I will be mentioning that, too. <laughs> Which, that's going to be a whole story when we get into the second one. <laughs> I was going to say, apparently I've listened to the audiobook of the movie, but I don't remember it. Because that was, um, my parents put that on during one of the many road trips to visit my grandma. Mm -hmm. So we had an eight-hour oh. car ride, and apparently we Ooh, listened boy. to Jurassic Park. I That's fun. <laughs> no, I've read the book. Um, I gave. I don't have the book anymore. I gave it to one of my friends for their birthday. Uh, but I pretty sure the audio. I pretty sure I have the audio book. Assuming it's not anywhere for free. But yeah, well, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, since we're pretty much done talking yeah. about the, what's up. Well, one more fun fact about it because I this was just something that I learned recently. But apparently, this movie, like we mentioned, came out in theaters in July of ninety three. And stayed in theaters continuously for a year and a half before yep. it finally stopped playing. Yeah, which I did not realize that. Yeah. Oh, I uh, well, that's that's why this movie is so high on the um, uh, what movies have sold the most tickets uh, because like this and Titanic. I mean, the, the reason Titanic was the highest grossing movie for God knows how long is because it was in theaters for like three years. So Well, apparently, like, that's why Gone with the Wind is, like, the highest ever because it was more or less in theater for, like, a whole decade. It's been re-released about a whole million times. Back then. Yeah, so, like, 
You didn't have home movies, yeah. so if you wanted to see a movie, you had to catch it in theater, and a lot of those old movies would rotate back into the theater every now and then. So. Yeah, but that reminds me of, there. Uh, not too long ago, there was a, uh, another movie caught, took the second place spot, and I wanted you to guess what movie that was. Was it Avengers? No. Nah, it was. Know. It's not the first place spot, because Gone with the Wind is going to be first place for pretty much ever. But yeah, because again, movie, it was in theaters for like a decade. Yeah, well, like I said, it's been in theaters for a decade. And it's been re-released about a hundred million times. But another movie took second place, and we've snarked it before. You want me to give you a hint? I can't remember what it was. You well, want me to give you a hint? Just tell me. Star Wars. Oh, that makes sense. So, no, uh, the last time they re-released Star Wars, it took second place. So, yeah. So, okay. And now, Gone with the Wind is the top for number of tickets sold. Yes. It is not the highest grossing movie of all yeah. time because of inflation. But well, yeah, I mean, the highest number of tickets ever yes, sold. Yes, we do need to clarify that. Because, like, when, because Gone with the Wind, although it sold the most tickets, that's back when a time when it cost, like, a 15 cents to go see a movie. So... Yeah. Yeah, we got to keep that in mind. And inflation, like, I'm pretty sure I yeah. saw this when movie tickets were like a dollar. Good yep. luck finding that now. <laughs> so, anyway, Jurassic so, Park. Okay, we've been going all along. the shit That's out of me, let's... but the music's amazing. <laughs> yes. Oh, and there's Definitely. also one scene I know you're absolutely going to love. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and get started. Everybody, get your mode of watching play. Yeah, that. Get your mode of watching ready. It's on DVD. It's on VHS. It's um, it's probably on, what did you say you're watching on? HBO Max. HBO, thank you. So go ahead and pull it up, and in three, two, one, play. Oh, here, give me that in case I need to adjust. Because oh, do you I have the, the, do you have like the I typical the DVD DVD piracy stuff? Thing. I forgot I had the okay. DVD, the, okay. Okay, uh, where are you at? I forgot I had the, the FBI Look, warning. Look, I'm going to pause on the Universal logo being in front of the earth all right okay. yeah so when it starts to rotate let me know when it's like front and center of the screen you see south america being between the v and the e okay uh south america between the what just e e. is the universal in front i'm just gonna hit play okay yeah play oh. we are very and, close and, cause, okay because i got the universal logo right in mine so yeah you should we should be very close it faded right. black, so we should be pretty close. <laughs> oh, there are two Universal logos? Oh, God, I pray to God that we're on the same one. <laughs> nope, we are not. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> no, it's okay. Let me know. Um, Hold on. Let me know when you get to the title screen of Jurassic Park, then. How's okay. that? Okay. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Universal that be... Pictures Presents... So you've seen that already? <laughs> yeah, literally when you see Jurassic Park, let me know. Play. Good, yep, I'm good. There we go. I do love the ominous music sound pack. I mean, well, we got to mention who did the freaking soundtrack for this. Uh, who did John the Williams. soundtrack for every major blockbuster that rocks? John Williams. So the soundtrack, obviously amazing. He doesn't do... Look, there are plenty of other amazing artists out there, okay? Yeah. Because Hans Zimmer and uh, James Howard Warner Shores are up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah. Hans Zimmer, Harold Shore. Can... Yeah. Hoss Fidel, because I love the Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack. Oh, yeah. There's... Well, we have to do those movies, too. <laughs> Granted, uh, I want to do Hans Zimmer was like the second one I mentioned after yeah. John Williams. So yeah, and I, I there is kind of a, a bait and switch because with the way the trees are moving, you expect it to be like a like a T Rex or something walk there, but no, it's they're just moving a box. Although this is kind of like, is this seriously the most practical way you can transport that box? Isla Nublar. Which, by the way, not a real island. <laughs> ah no no. What? <laughs> I accidentally paused it trying to well, figure out how to. We're okay. Just keep going. Okay. Okay. I did see some people. There, there are some people actually holding a gun. So I'm like. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, and again, why are they pushing it? Why don't they have like a motorized something? And here's another thing. Why because doesn't it's 93 and they don't have the technology? They have the technology. They they could have had the skid loader push it forward a little bit more. And why don't they have anything to lock the box in place? I don't remember at all what happens here. Uh yeah. Well, it's like okay, it's raise the gate. Why is there no for me. Why is there no system to raise the gate automatically? Why does he have to I completely it? agree with that as well. Yeah. Okay, no, yeah, I'm with you on this. Why? How are there not magnets locking that in place? Like, yeah. OSHA should have been all over this. Like, what oh, yeah, OSHA on? would have been having a field day with this. Yeah, and again, we ha we saw people holding guns. Where There's one right there, an M16. Why don't you shoot it? Someone's being eaten. Shoot it. No, at this point, you don't trying just to shoot it now. Thing. At this point, you don't just tase it. You kill it. How has this guy not been literally torn in half yet? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it is a Velociraptor. They, I don't know if they'd be strong enough to rip someone in half like that, but he'd be eviscerated. His guts would be spilling all over the place. He'd be dead. He'd be dead by now. Yeah, he. If he wasn't dead, he'd be very near. He. Yeah. And this part here, why is he on a platform being pulled across a moat? What? I, don't I know. do know that in like in tribes like this, it is this is kind of how they get around. But it's like, I think he find I think he could find a boat to hire or something. <laughs> I yeah, cannot figure out how to put subtitles on. Oh, you didn't turn subtitles on? No, I can't figure it out. No. <laughs> Yeah. And they're in there. Here he's talking. They're talking about, okay, you know, because the guy did die. Uh, and he's like, you know, there's gun. The family wants a lawsuit. They're not happy about this. What? Because a guy just died and there's a whole secrecy about it because obviously the public doesn't know, oh, dinosaurs are, by the way. Yeah. I think that dude is on the TV show Medium later. He might be. I haven't actually seen that show, but I do know he's in stuff. He's it's been a while since I've seen it. He's been in a lot of TV shows. I think they actually used his voice in the Camp Cretaceous TV cartoon show. Which, by the way, I, uh, there is a Jurassic Park Camp Cretaceous. It's a TV show that's kind of based like it's in the style of the Clone Wars. Is the only way I can describe it, but it's kind of not good. It's kind of not good. It has its moments of good, but the problem is overall not so much. Oh, they found a mosquito with yeah blood. Which, still by the way, in it. They, yeah, they found a mosquito in the amber. Which, by the way, you can find that all the time. The problem is that's not a good way to clone a dinosaur. There's no way that's actually going to work. And this part here, um, I want everybody to notice. Oh, they're using brushes to unclear. Why are they being so delicate with dinosaur bones? Because they're very flippin' delicate. Dinosaur bones, if you sneeze on them, they can break. So you have to be very, very careful with, with how you excavate them. Although finding a finding a dinosaur this well, like with all that, holy cow. <laughs> That's insane. Laura Dern and Sam O'Neill. Yep. Or is it just Sam Neill? I keep forgetting if I there's the air or not. Yep. Yeah. And this was a new technology when they started this. It's now pretty much how all this was the bedrock for how all underground excavations are done, really, now. <coughs> I mean, like, I remember when I was a kid, they found a whale in downtown LA. So, yeah. <laughs> and then. <laughs> I don't think the image comes out that clear in this stuff, but hey. Mm -hmm. And again, again, how are they finding a skeleton this well preserved? And apparently, touching the TV just causes issues. <laughs> Although I want to point out, look at the age of that TV. Holy cow. <laughs> well, maybe it's 93! 
<laughs> I know, but still. Also, I like how we've come so full circle in fashion that they don't look that outdated right now. I wanted to point out how when this movie came out, it was still widely believed that dinosaurs were all reptiles, and now it's known that no, they're more birds. Like, T-Rex was covered in feathers. <laughs> yeah, and here. Uh, apparently, this kid is uh, Grady Owen, or uh, Owen Grady from the Jurassic World movie uh, as three, after he grows up. So... He looks like a bird. That's supposed to be Chris Pratt's character? Yep. That is supposed to be Chris Pratt's character. Stare at him. Stare That's when he attacked you. Not from the front, but from the side. Yeah. Foreshadowing. Yeah. And by the way, this is how all modern predators hunt. Well, only the pack hunters. I mean, like, if you're a lone well, hunter. Oh, Frick, my movie just froze. Hold on. Okay. Pause. Hold on, my movie has just frozen. I think I bumped my DVD. Hold on. I think I bumped my DVD player. Oh, good. Then I can turn subtitles on. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. Hold on. <laughs> I'm fixing this. Okay. At least the subtitles aren't obnoxious on this movie. I was watching one that they were like, they had black a, behind them. Can you give me a timestamp of where you're at? I, I, because mine reset to the beginning. Well, the timestamp's not gonna match up because it'll be close. So we're at like yeah. 59. No, I'm just saying, what time are you at? That way, I can bring it forward to be approximately the same time because we're allowed. Same, like Sam Neil's talking to the kid. Yeah. Okay, so you have I'm some. At, yeah, what? I just put it on. I am. I'm at eight fifty nine. And Sam Neill is telling the kid, the point is you are alive when they start to eat you. Yeah. Okay, let me play for a second and see if he's saying that line. Yeah, he just said that. Okay, so I got, I'm going to actually, hold on. Okay. Is that close to what you see? I mean, yes. Okay, so we should be good then. Now it's okay. exactly like that. Okay, good. So we should be good. Okay, sorry yeah. about that. And hopefully, the, hopefully we don't have any more issues. And three, two, one, play. So show them a little. Try to show them a little bit of respect. Which, by the way, wild. Show all wild animals respect. Yeah, but these are dead. There animals. are. I mean, no. This actually bugs me. There's so many videos of like somebody. Oh, I'm gonna go up and pet this wild bear. Or there's a wild warthog coming up. I'm going to pet it. No, these are wild animals. They're not your friends. They will hurt you. <laughs> yeah, here. Oh, I like how they're just like, uh, yeah, they're I don't like, want kids. Yeah. Kids are annoying. Yeah. I, I did like the line of, if you want to scare him, you could have pulled a gun on him. <laughs> Although it's like, I, is he holding a gun? <laughs> they do not smell. <laughs> and then here, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's this not good. A great way to piss off paleontologists. <laughs> they would be so angry. They are angry. <laughs> Although, how did this old guy get from the helicopter down here so fast? Across this field and into this trailer, and no one notices. Doing there. We, we were that. Yeah. I, I just heard the line. We're very, very close. We're good. Okay. I, you know what? I do like how he's completely covered in dust. Do look at that. <laughs> yeah, and the guy in white is not. How is he not covered in dust? He just came off no the idea. helicopter too. Yeah. yeah, that yeah, it's like, was he here? Yeah, and then here. Who's the jerk? <laughs> I do love that. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I I have to feel that he was there and the helicopter just arrived to like pick him up. And it's like 
Uh, it's like, I know my way around the kitchen. How do you know your way around the kitchen? Because he built the trailer, obviously. <laughs> yeah, he built it. Well, he's supposed to be a millionaire in this, so it would make sense. Um, do got to mention, John Attenborough, terrific actor. Awesome actor. Love him. So he tragically passed away a, little while, a while ago. So now, I remember when he, he passed away like a week after Robin Williams did. It was like, holy cow. <laughs> yeah. And I do like this. He's going to make the one that in Kenya looks like a petting zoo. <laughs> I do love that. <laughs> got kid, I track kids. What are those? Small versions of adults. But that's not important right now. It's like, I'm sorry. Workers being eaten by dinosaurs is kind of a big deal. And you want people to bring their kids into this thing? Yeah. Well, there are so many safety features that are just completely ignored. Like, for example, in modern zoos, they either have, like, a moat separating the predators from the people or they have them at completely different levels. Like, at, at the zoo, where in the zoo where I live, they have bears. The bears are, I mean, they're, like, in a pit down here. So you're up here, they're down here. You can't get to them unless you decide no. to jump. And to get into the enclosure is usually, like, a double door. So that you go in and you can't open the next door till the last one's closed. Yep. Although it does remind me of um, when I was uh, in high school uh, and some idiot decided to jump the fences that they had into the tiger pen here. Well, he died, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you can't help. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna, if you wanna get paleontologists to do what, do what you want, right here, I will com I will compensate your dig. You have them on board. For a further three years, they are, yeah, they're they're in, 100%. Oh, and uh, I want to point out, the dinosaur you see in the background there, I actually have one. <laughs> of course I, you I do. I really have it right over there. I could run and grab it. Oh, my God. Actually, I'm going to, hold on. All right, go get your dinosaur. I have to. This Brontosaurus? Brachiosaurus. Those are the ones with the long neck, right? Rawr. <laughs> yep, he has the brontosaurus. I have the actual. Is this isn't the actual movie model, obviously, but it's one that was oh, released with the movie. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Newman. Yep. Newman, love him. <laughs> I have another dinosaur model over there that was that does not appear in this movie, unfortunately. I think it appears in the next one though. <laughs> When I was a kid, I had all I had all of them. I had Tyrannosaurus, I had Raptors, I had every damn one. And there, you shouldn't use my name. Johnson, Dodson, we got Dodson over here. <laughs> Nobody cares. If you didn't want people to use your name, then you should have given him a fake one. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, here. And a 750000 went back when that was a shit ton of money. <laughs> They don't use stuff they don't survive. Why not? You can still use the genetic material. And here. <laughs> this is. <laughs> cool departmental size, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it still works. <laughs> and then here, he just puts it on some guy's cake, and oh my gosh. <laughs> And apparently tomorrow night, how, what? This all happens in a day? I don't think that makes it. Well, he, I mean, his thing only has, a, he's got a 72 hour window to uh, get stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that here, uh, yeah, here's the bill. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. <laughs> yeah. And I will point out, in the book, he doesn't actually plan to, uh, like, spell out, hand I mean, he, his plan is basically give them the stuff and then keep working and be like, oh, look, a competitor has, a competitor has made their own dinosaurs. How the heck did that happen? He doesn't plan to actually quit John with John Hammond in the book. Oh. Yeah. And here's your favorite part of the movie. <laughs> Although, back this is, was this Jeff Goldblum's first big role? I don't think it was. He did the fly, like, in 89 or 87. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, I what? forgot the fly. I forgot about the fly way back when. Yeah, man, that 
Because granted, The Fly is not exactly what I would call a good movie, but. <laughs> yeah, the one yeah. he did. That's really old. Yeah, it's really like, what, what are you doing? You just <laughs> not the one he yeah. did. He did the first one. No, he, he did the one in the. It was in the eighties. <sighs> the fly. Yeah. Let me look. Nineteen eighty six. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. There's a fly too. What? Oh the my point. god! I don't even know. Three of them. Oh, here we go. Music, everybody. The best the sweeping instrument is true. Sweeping instrumental music is what my subtitle just said. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, this. Yeah, like well, this part kind of gets me. It's like okay, they're just flying across the island. Let's have the most epic sounding music ever to exist ever. <laughs> Although here, uh, I don't know if helicopters land this badly. <laughs> oh, like excitedly! Exc I don't think that was exciting. <laughs> yeah. I like the lawyer in shorts. Yeah, he's wearing a well, business he's, suit. He's, he's wearing a shorts. business suit on top. He's wearing shorts. That never made sense. I guess it's like. That's like legit. He should be wearing a mullet to go with that party in the front <laughs> or business in the front party in the back. Yeah. They weren't buckled mm. before this. Yeah, I do. I do love. They have a whole sequence here of him struggling to get buckled in. And he just ties the parts. Uh, again, I don't know if a helicopter if the helicopter would. That bumpy on the way. Comment on it, but yeah, uh, it's so cool though. And uh, yes, these were all toys. Even the helicopter was a toy. And yes, I do like keep your flipping head down from the helicopter blades. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I've watched DR. You can lose an arm to that. Yeah. You can also die when one falls on you. Mm-hmm. Those are heavy blades. They're not light. I love the subtitles with the music. <laughs> Although here, uh, what dinosaur pen are they going into that they what? I mean, obviously, okay. I'm gonna put it. The reason that they have these, the go, they go through this fence is because they have the entire park sectioned into parts so that if a dinosaur does escape, it, it's contained to a relatively small area. So that's why they have fences all over the place. That's why they just went through one there. Okay, but why are the fences manned by actual people on uh, either side? I'm I'm commenting on what the book says, and in the book, I don't remember if they're actually manned by people or not. I don't. I think they are because that was the cheapest way to do it in the book. I think. I don't that probably makes sense with the way this park is run. Yeah. Well, we'll get we'll really get into it later, but yeah. <laughs> I do like this. In 48 hours, I'll be accepting your apologies. And I wanted to point I we missed the line, but I wanted to point out it's like I bought actual scientists. You brought a rock star? <laughs> Cause um yeah. And here, uh how does no one notice? No one they're not paying attention. I can understand I can understand why uh Dr. Sattler is not because she's look she's you know expecting a leaf. Although how they got a leaf from the Cretaceous area, God only knows. Although this is a great reaction shot. Just like holy cow. Yeah, this CC of bear form has been yeah, like I said, since the Cretaceous period. how they how they get a leaf? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and again, how'd they not hear this? How'd they not notice it before? God only knows. It's a ninja dinosaur. <laughs> it is a ninja dinosaur. It only gets seen when it wants to be seen. All right. I mean, it clearly looks CGI, but it's still pretty good CGI. Yeah. Considering yeah, this was 93 and. Movies since then have not looked this good. Yeah. Like, there are have been movies since then that haven't looked this good. Uh, does need to be said, a pass horse, not actually that big. <laughs> yeah. 
Because if you actually look at the scale of them to the dinosaur, that dinosaur would be at least uh, probably 150 feet long. They were not that big. They got 60 feet long. Oh. Brachiosaurus, huh? I get confused because that's the that – I will – I'm going to say I get confused when it comes to Brachiosaurus and Passaurus because – when I was a kid, there was the whole mix-up of, okay, what is this a dinosaur? What's a dinosaur? What's not a dinosaur? Blah, 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 blah. And it's, yeah, because there was a mix-up of, like, one skull got into the wrong model. So now, so it's completely very confusing. Of, okay, is it a separate species? Is it a mix-up? Or what, what is it? We don't even know. And a t we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. No, T-Rexes could not run that fast. Their bones would shatter if they tried to run that fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's just gonna throw up right now. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Park. Because Cretaceous Park just doesn't sound as cool. Yeah. Well, that's what. That's exactly why uh, Michael Crichton did Jurassic Park. So. Because, uh, like I said, this is based off a book, and like I said, when we do this, when we start off the second one, I got a whole lesson of that. <laughs> so yeah, they have they, they, so, they 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 <laughs> the dinosaur with the insanely hard to pronounce name, which they mock in the second one. The dinosaur with the long uh, thing on the back of its head, the Parafalophosaurus, I think it is. I don't know. Yeah. How'd you do this? I'll show you. Why'd you whisper? Because it's dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> it's just dramatic. There you go. Thank you, James. <laughs> no problem. Any, anything I can do to help. <laughs> oh, now we get to meet Samuel L. Jackson. Honestly, yep. I just want one of those Jeeps, bro. Oh. After after the movie's ends, I gotta tell you something, but uh, the door opens automatically, mind you. Uh, so apparently there are two people who just open the door from behind. Okay, also, those doors should open outwards for fire hazard reasons. Yeah, yeah I was just about to say that, that exact same true. thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you're trying to leave a building, it helps when the doors open out. Yeah. That dinosaur looks like it's dancing. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there, right there. The The we're out of the job... That is a reference to when Paul Tibbet uh, said, you know, because like I said, when it was revealed to him that they're using CGI, he's like, well, I'm extinct. So that's that's what that reference is, comes to. Oh, and this part here. Apparently, John Hammond is going to be in this thing, doing these things like 100 times a day. <laughs> I mean, mind you, this is very much set up for like, oh, kids are going to like this. Oh, yeah, but. <laughs> and I will point out, it doesn't line up exactly. So if you watch it, like exactly what they're doing, it doesn't line up precisely, which is good, which is good movie shorthand because it's clearly, <laughs> clearly not rehearsed. But yeah, uh, I do love this. <laughs> I do love that part of, oh, hello, John. Hello, John. <laughs> Cloning doesn't actually work like that, but hey. That here, uh, silly music. Yep, I might just. What? what? <laughs> and I noticed there's a John Hammond in the background also looking at the thing, which yep. so that means that he had to do that take probably three times, at least just to get the film. <laughs> yeah, here, they're setting up how they got the DNA for the dinosaurs is that they extracted it from mosquitoes. Uh, yeah. In actuality, they wouldn't bother doing that. What they'd actually probably do is just because, uh, like, the chicken is the closest modern relative that we have to Tyrannosaurus. And if you mess with the chicken's DNA just a little bit, they will grow teeth. So they'd probably just do genetic splicing like that if they wanted to actually clone a dinosaur. Although it does need to be said, they did actually find, I think it was a Tyrannosaurus thigh bone that when it broke open, they actually had it still had fleshy bits in it. No. Oh. So, yeah, they could potentially use that as well. But. Yeah, but see, uh, this also, but it does raise the question of okay, if they got the blood from there, how the heck they get the blood from the Mosasaurus that we see later in the movie? Yeah, are you cringing at this scene? 
I know. <laughs> How do they know uh, what dinosaur blood they were getting out of the mosquito? Yeah, no that's the point. Uh, there's no way you're getting that. Uh, no blood no blood idea. Blood. That's um, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, since it's so old, it's full of holes. Yep. Yeah, uh, here. I want to put, listen to what it says. We're going to break down this random minutes. Which, mind you, this did, this was all brand new virtual operating technology. Oh my God. Yeah, we yeah, use the DNA of frogs. Uh, they wouldn't use the DNA of frogs. They would use the DNA of, like I said, probably birds, like, you know, modern day birds. Because, like you said, dinosaurs were more closely related to birds. Oh, yeah, they are all very temporary. Oh, <laughs> and of course, the tour moves on. Uh, why do they have to get locked in for this part here? Because it's moving. Waiting. <laughs> so they don't break in there. Why do they have, number one, why do they have a door going there in this ride? Yeah, I do like this. Are those are those auto or what? Whoa, whoa! Did he just? <laughs> I don't know if my subtitles just failed, but he just said. No, it said auto. Or he actually says erotic. it in the movie. What? <laughs> yeah, he no, he legit says auto erotica. Whoa, dude! He clearly okay, did not think uh, of the correct word. To well, number one, work on your lines better there, buddy. It's animatronic, but yeah, uh, yeah. If they can just push up the things like that, something's wrong. But again, why do they have a door going from the ride into these this area for emergency access? No, I it's, agree. Like you wouldn't be able to, you shouldn't be able to access that from the ride. Yeah. Oh, Doctor Wu. Back when Doctor Wu was young, holy cow! Look at him. And now he's apparently a bad guy. <laughs> I don't know if he's a bad guy. In Jurassic World and in the Camp Cretaceous, he's, he's not a bad a good guy. guy. He's not a bad guy. He's just a scientist. <laughs> he just likes building dinosaurs, bro. Oh, yeah. Perfect timing. I'd hope they'd hatch before I got to the boat. Harry, why didn't you tell me? I insist on being there when they're born. Uh, you really failed at your job if no one told him. <laughs> right. Oh man, this is real. They did really good for this. Although, why is the claw sitting there holding the? Oh, whoa! The claw is no longer holding that egg anymore. There's a continent underneath for you. Uh, aren't there multiple eggs hatching right now? No, just the one. Oh. It's just the one. No, it's just the one. Yeah. And it does need to be said. Uh, if you ever see like a something hatching. Don't ever try to help it hatch. Let it do it on its own. Because when they're that small, it's very easy to cripple them. <laughs> I've been present for the birth of every living creature on the planet. I don't think it worked, dude. I don't um, think they tried. Oh my gosh, I screwed that one up. <laughs> I'm fired. No. <laughs> There's no unauthorized breeding. And then finally, uh, Jeff Goldblum gets this all. How are you making sure of this? Uh, does need to be said. Uh, we think, we're not sure, we're not certain, but we think that dinosaur eggs were probably more like alligator and crocodile eggs in that temperature actually determines the breed. Yeah. Uh, gender determines the gender, which I don't know how the hell that works. So hey, I do like that. He's holding the egg, experiencing the egg, and then the machine just nope. Yeah, there. Yeah. 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 Here, the, the, the type of toy you're attempting is not possible. Um, like, for example, we do know, like, he's going to get into later. You're going to miss the best line in the whole movie. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, uh, there it is. 
it's very easy to if you want it's very easy to actually um do impersonations of him all you gotta do is add ah 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 a lot yes life ah oh, fine there we go there it was you can go check the temperature oh, you did. okay Although I don't think that's the that's his best line of the movie, but it is the most memed line of the movie. Yeah, fair enough. Not the most memed part of him. <laughs> well, that's that's only to become later. But like I said, we're gonna get to the part your favorite part of this movie soon. <laughs> or I guess I shouldn't say soon, but yeah. And they did a really good job on a, on that animatronic little that tiny little animatronic. Yeah, here. Yeah, and we have our gourmet chef. I'm, they have this whole. Thing. Uh, is that that's a fake cow? Why could they couldn't get a real cow? They do this all the time. Fair enough. Yeah, a delightful menu of Chilean sea bass. I would love Chilean sea bass. That sounds awesome. <laughs> No, uh, and I will say that in um in uh I think it's in Africa. I could be wrong. This is actually they actually transport cows via helicopter because it's the best way to transport them over all the mountains and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. Uh, I do like how all we see is the le the leaves shaking. We don't actually see the cow being dismembered. <laughs> I do notice that John Hammond is just looking at them, not actually. They should all be destroyed. Right I'm with this the... guy. He knows. He's the game warden of Kenya, and he actually survives in the book. <laughs> Although in the book, uh, um, that words. Um, Ian Malcolm's care Ian Malcolm doesn't actually survive the book too, which is a whole which is a whole thing that I have to get into when we get to. Yeah. And they're having two separate conversations now, <laughs> especially the big one. Well, I mean, like in real life, people have multiple conversations all the time. No, and it bugs the crap out of me. It's like you're in a group of four people, and all of a sudden, instead of having a big conversation, it breaks into two separate ones. I don't like that. Well, Especially not everybody wants to talk about the here. same thing. What? Not everybody wants to talk about the same thing all the time. You know, but it, like I said, it bugs me because I got bad hearing. So a lot of times I have to, it gets really difficult. So if I'm having two, se so if there are two separate conversations going on, it really gets hard for me to keep track. <laughs> Crane worrying. And this part here, uh, where's all the blood that would be covering that thing? <laughs> and also that metal apparently is very, very flimsy if the Raptors could break it that easily. Although the rat yeah, is they must, very like, small pit. They must have to change out the crane every time they feed it. You think they'd have a better way of releasing yeah. a cow without destroying the equipment every time? Yeah. But I, but I want but look at the size of that pit. That pit is about the size of my flipping living room. That's not a very and they have apparently 3 to 4 raptors in there. No way they would be living that in that area comfortably. They'd be pissed. They wouldn't be able to hunt properly in an area that small. Yeah. Well, I mean, just imagine living in an area that small. It, no way. So. Yeah, everyone. And he's talking about, it's like, we could charge like $10,000 a day and people would pay. It's like, no, I want everybody to be able to experience this. Yeah. This is where I think the be his best line in the movie comes in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to hear everybody's point of view. Fair enough. The yeah. The cars was also for bubble. <laughs> You're feeling it like some kid who's found dad's gun. <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my favorite of his lines in this movie. Mind you, this is not exactly true because if we had to earn the knowledge ourselves every single time, we wouldn't have any development. We have to go. No, that's the whole point. Right. Science is about a lot of science is about taking what somebody else has done and improving it or building yeah. upon it. 
Yeah. You're going to sell it and sell it. Yeah. I had a Jurassic Lunchbox when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, well, I just saw Jurassic Tennis in the background, it looked like. <laughs> Jurassic Another good line. Oh, that worked. Yeah. Condor. That's, the best line. On the bird That's fair. That is the best line. Or the building of a damn dinosaur is uh, their shot. Have their um, shot. Yeah. <laughs> Mind this is a whole debate that's going on because we are getting to the point where we could probably, you know, clone dinosaurs. And there's a whole thing of like, would we actually, should we actually do it? And yeah, I think we actually, because here's, here's the thing we can keep bears in captivity. You mean to tell me we can't figure out a way to keep a dinosaur, even a fully grown T-Rex in captivity? I'm not saying. Yeah. But, I mean, every now and then animals get loose from the zoos they're kept in. What happens when the dinosaurs get loose from their zoo? We have guns. And how many people are going to get injured before you can gun it down? Depends on where the heck you're released. Mind you, I'm not saying that it'd be like in like Los Angeles or something, which again, we'll get to. It but, would definitely end up in Los Angeles or New York. It'd be in some super big, already touristy city. But again, that's because they can afford it. Yeah, that's true. So, I don't want to jump to any collisions, but dinosaurs are yeah. Uh, we're two species separated by sixty-five million years. We should point out we are closer right now. We are closer to T. Rex than T. Rex is to Allosaurus. That shows how long dinosaurs were allowed. All right. It's a blood sucking lawyer. <laughs> the only one I got on my side is the blood sucking lawyer. Thank you. Because the lawyer's in it for the money. Yeah. And uh, at this point, and notice, hold on, hold on. Like, no yeah, one, the lawyer's no thinking. Anything. No one ate anything. <laughs> it's fine. But at this point, the lawyer's thinking if you open this up, oh, yeah. then uh, you better, like, the worker who died, his family's going to want a piece of that, like, check every year. Right. Like, yeah, well, you'd be able to afford it. So, and that lawyer would get a piece of that check they get every year. Yeah. So, that's what he's thinking right now. So, otherwise, this place is a huge liability. The insurance well, company should have had somebody there being super objective to be like, how much money, like, how many lawsuits am I potentially going to have to pay out? Well, they, yeah. Well, like you said earlier, they'd also have OSHA breathing down their necks. There are so many safety features here that are completely just ignored almost. Yeah. And hold, um, like, I decided, I, yeah, go visit Grandpa on his island with dinosaurs. Yeah. But yeah, this part is like they're... That I'm well, I still believe 100% that they could make a di real life dinosaur and keep it contained and keep it under control without too much difficulty. But the problem, is, but like it is difficult because number one, just cloning it, number two, it's I mean, it's well, so much really bigger than any, uh, any living predator that we have now. And this kid is just following him around so much. Yeah, they sure don't like birds to me. They actually look, if you actually look at like raptors, they actually really do. Like, what's the difference between a raptor skeleton and like a velociraptor skeleton and a chicken skeleton? Not a lot. Exactly. Nobody's ever imagined the velociraptor skeleton with wings or with feathers. That's what the problem was. Yeah. Which we do know raptors had feathers. <laughs> I mean, micro raptor could fly, is a great example. Or glide, I should say. It couldn't actually fly, but. Granted, chickens can't fly either. So, yeah. Oh, and Doctor Baker and Barker uh, doesn't even. Say... Yeah, she, she said I should ride with you because it'd be good for <laughs> And Doctor Sadler just got this. <laughs> Look. Oh. Yeah. Here, here's here we go, Samuel. How are they just now learning about the storm? Like yeah, those this things is usually, uh, how, yeah. Like they usually start tracking that. Well, I don't know how it was in '93. Come to think of it, these yeah. days, well, they, you have they, a pretty big heads up when something starts to form. Here, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, and look, there he is. Tropical storms can rise up pretty quickly, but you are right. They would have had future notice of there's a storm coming. Like, I feel like they should have had at least a day, maybe, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't I don't know if they would have had a day in 93, but I mean, like nowadays they would have. But yeah, they would have had more warning than two hours, which is what was just the sense of what we get here. Okay, yeah, there. God help us. We're in the hands of engineers. Thank you. Hey, we're very safe. We over-engineer <laughs> shit. I trust engineers. I do. I don't trust lawyers, but I do trust the engineers. Yeah, there. What do we got in there? King Kong? We'll get into that. The major references in the next movie. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, the Jurassic Park door, which was on all the toys ever. <laughs> the voice you're now here is Richard Kyle. We spared no expense. You uh, spared, no, you spared plenty of expense, you, dude. Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if it weren't for the, what you call it, treason? What's up? Know, espionage. This actually would have gone off for pretty well. Well, yeah, well, the espionage, yeah, I guess. But yes, they did actually get Richard Kiley to uh, do these lines, which is like, how the heck did they do that? He's Richard Kiley. Uh, he was an he's an old school American actor. He did a lot of old movies. Okay. He wasn't a big thing in the 90s anymore, but he was still around. That's fair. Are those things supposed to be driven on the track? Because I see nothing that They're actually... supposed to be on the track, but clearly they're not. <laughs> yeah, we have all the major problems of the, uh, Major Zoo and uh, of a major theme park and a major zoo, and the computers aren't on the feet yet. Why are the computers not on their feet yet? Wouldn't that be the first thing you get set up? Oh, gosh. And look at his work area. My gosh. Like, if the computers were up and running, this is when you fire that dude and you hire somebody more competent. Like, how does he not have a whole team? How is it just one guy? Yeah. Oh, and that, that is in the books, too. It's like they have just this one guy doing all this stuff. Like, you would need a whole IT team or something to, like, keep this thing running. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how he thinks an entire park's computer system could be run by one guy. Yeah. But, again, I just look at his work area. My gosh. Like, I know people who are brilliant and have super messy work areas. That's not a problem. His attitude's a problem and how, like... He's complaining he doesn't get paid enough. Yeah. When he's he's not chalant about all these major issues. Yeah. Oh, I, I want to point out, look at the very left of the screen right now. You can see that fence is not connected. They screwed up on that. <laughs> they show that the fe that, that, that fence, there's a big gap that a T-Rex could easily get through if it wanted to. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just went into the trees. No, it, it the the lines they they come to the last post and then go down. You can see them if you look closely. And like I said, there's oh, a I gap. There was just a hill that it went down. There. Ten thousand volts. And <laughs> um, I mind you, this is true because if you had a T Rex, you'd have to give it a big lot. You'd have to give it a lot of room to be able to walk around in because. Well, like I said, imagine if you had to live in a, like, imagine if you had to live in your living room and you couldn't go anywhere else ever again. You'd get pent up and freaked out very quickly. And then here's this line. <laughs> Dinosaur <laughs> E-Man, woman in hair, the earth. <laughs> they both <laughs> give her a look. <laughs> Although, uh, it doesn't need to be said, I'm pretty sure T-Rex is not going to go, oh, are you a guy or a girl? Can I eat you? I'm pretty sure it's just going to eat you. But also, like... I don't know what they expect. They have this huge area for the T-Rex. Like, the T-Rex isn't going to want to hang out by yeah. the fence all day long, especially when it's electrified. You have to lure it to you. 
which how right. they do which how they do that in like how they would do that in like game sanctuaries is that they would constantly feed it at this time that way the, the animal knows oh i go here at this time i get fed and that's how you do it and mind you this this is repeated behavioral patterns that would be built up that would be built up by now you can't you can't but yeah you're right you can't just make it happen automatically the goat is just very chilly. I'm just chilling out. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I am going to mention this real quick. The The actress playing the girl there, uh, she only has one other... She's only in one other series of movies. The Tremors movies. <laughs> Think about that. And, uh, and uh, as for the little boy who plays Tim... He still he makes movies. I think he's I think he does like like editing movies now. He's he's still in Hollywood, but he's like an actor. He's done other things. I've seen him. Yeah, well, before. he's done some other things, but I think for I think by and large he does like stuff behind the scenes. He still yeah, probably I mean, he still will days, appear yeah. in front of screens. But from what I understand, he's more of a producer. Like I said, he will still appear on screen, but he's but he um like if I, I uh what movie was it? I don't remember. He was in another. He was doing another movie, but he wasn't acting in it. He was doing stuff behind the scenes, and no one knew who he was because he was because he wasn't. I mean, had he said, "Oh, by the way, I played Tim in Jurassic Park," they all would have fle freaked out. But he never said it because he just didn't, doesn't mention it. Although here, this part here, uh, how does Doctor Grant see this? Oh, Apparently he was the uh, he was Deacon in the Queen movie, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. That's what he did recently. Well, like I said, he he is in other movies. He does do. Other, I mean, he will appear on screen, but I'm saying by and large. When yeah, he does I know. I just remember that there had been something recent that he had been in, oh, and okay, it was okay. Bohemian Rhapsody that I was thinking yeah. of. He was um. Yeah, Deacon. The yeah, he was Deacon, one of the yeah. the guitarists, the bassists. <laughs> okay, this part here on um, name are, is Grant and Doctor Sattler. Are they dating? Back. Because this is very much, this is very much like a dude, somebody's hitting on your girlfriend, which I will say in the book, she's like, she's our age. She's very young. She's like almost fresh out of high school. I mean, fresh out of college, pretty much. She's very young. I'm not fresh out of college. 30 is very different from 23. I, I, you get, but you get what I mean. He, she's younger than Dr. Grant, whereas Grant is like in his 50s almost. I, I have so many questions. How are they able to leave the car when it's moving? That one, I don't know. In the book, I don't remember because I haven't read the book in a while, so I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure this isn't in the out. This actually doesn't happen. Oh, they're complaining about that now. <laughs> yeah, they're complaining. How'd they, how'd they open the doors? Is there on the thing? But yeah, the doors should be locked. There and yeah, there was no way they could get out. I just don't understand how they have one guy running all the electronics of this yeah. thing. Like, how one do you not have a whole department like for this? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we, I'm gonna the the Barker Baker rivalry. Um, back when this movie came out, there were two really big guys of. Okay, you know, do dinosaurs do are like their the primary argument was the T Rex is it a predator or is it a scavenger? Because I mean, by when this because now we know oh, that he's weird. What kid? <laughs> yeah, she pretended to trip just so that he would grab her hand. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Are you sure? Was it pretending? I wasn't watching. Oh yeah, here, because when here. he helps her up. She held his hand tight and just like gave him a grin. <laughs> She's like 12, maybe 13. Yeah, here. How are they in the pen of the dinosaur? Again, don't know. Don't know. Um, re this is a real Tyrannus, or Tyrannus, a real thing. They, this is all animatronics. Try say it, thank you. Sorry, my brain just. And I'm the dinosaur nerd. I, but yeah, it's basically like three guys working all the stuff in the in this thing. Yeah, because you got one guy working all the stuff in the. I mean, obviously they're like under. There's like they probably have. They're probably like in a dugout area under the ground. But yeah, I think it's like three guys, maybe four, working this. I have a feeling this would be your reaction if you actually saw a, a Triceratops like this. 
You think I would go up to it and start petting it and crying? Yeah. <laughs> Only if it's like a mecha zord and I'm dressed like the Blue Ranger. I'm saying... <laughs> Okay, I need to say you cosplay the Blue Ranger now. That needs to happen. <laughs> I've done it crappily. I was a Blue Ranger for Halloween many, many years ago. Oh, man. If you have pictures, I want to see them now. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I would be all, I'd be going insane if I saw a Triceratops or any dinosaur for that matter. Oh, there's another very memeable one. Yeah, and here, moment. you're dilated. Here, this dinosaur is high out of its mind. <laughs> And we're going to get, here's another part of, like, we're spared no expense. Uh, you spared expense. We know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. Really? Really? Are you sure? There's only one way to be positive. Don't eat it yet. Okay. Uh, I, I have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Uh, dino droppings? Droppings? <laughs> <laughs> and here the storm has not it does need to be said that uh, storms a lot of times especially in the southern they will they will vary a lot so if it's going this way for one for like one hour it may be going a completely different direction in the next hour so yeah but you also don't want to take the chance that it could stay on course because you're right oh, yeah. There's the spaghetti diagrams. This storm could do anything. Oh, but if yeah. there's any oh, chance yeah. of it oh, coming yeah. to hit your dinosaur island, do you want to be on that island? But, but like you said, there's no way they would have had this tour with a storm coming that quickly. Yeah. And here, that is a big How pile of shit. sm smell so bad? Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, jeez. Mind you, it's actually just mud and stuff that they made up to look like, but yeah. But I would also want to be in a full hazmat suit and not just plastic gloves up to my elbows. Yeah. Ew, that's not how you take gloves off. Yeah, no doubt. No. Well, she's grabbing the part that would be covered in shit, so. That's what I mean. Like, you would peel that thing off so it goes inside out so that you don't yep. grab the part that's been covered that's in shit. That's covered in shit. <laughs> At least they're making fun of it. and Yeah, yeah, they do have a part where he's, yeah. And typing in, my subtitles just said typing intensely. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, again, apparently no one noticed a storm coming until now. And the wind has picked up significantly in the last five minutes. <laughs> I want to stay with her a little bit longer. Yeah, that tropical storm got there so quickly. How do they not have like walkie talkies with everyone on board to be like, hey, you need to leave now? Yeah. And here, this guy standing, what they do have, what they have is just a water pump pumping water across it. It's like, dude, you're in a water park. What the hell? Yeah, uh, you have 15. It's like you got to give me 50. Didn't you have this all figured out, by the way? He did, but he wasn't counting on the tropical storm coming up and giving his ride out problems. Again, you think you would have counted for that, especially when you know the storm's coming for a couple hours. It could have been worse. Yeah. And yeah, here, no, this is, happen. this talking, what, I mean, this talking is very, I mean, it's obvious what he's doing, but it's very much, I, I'm nervous talking is basically the best way to say it. And you can tell that they're all like, okay, what's going on with you, dude? He just debugged. Yeah, and here he's setting up, like, if systems go on and off for a little bit, uh, it's compiling, so blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and his background is some some lady in a zebra bikini. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yeah. there. Oh, there's someone driving it right there. 
Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. This is something we're gonna have uh, in a conversation in the next movie. Oh, you got any kids? Oh yeah, I got three kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, strangely. Yeah, I've missed the fact that he actually has kids. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, in the next movie, I it's just like I, in the next movie, I just want to go out. Okay. Can we just see your wallet? And he just opens up his wallet and just a cascade of women's photos comes out. That's what I'm expecting. Almost. Oh, man. Look at that old school camera. Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the door security systems are not a minor system. I'm pretty sure you'd be going, okay, something's up. Right. <laughs> okay, now I want to actually look at all the dinosaurs because they. I think he said they had 26 species. So let's see here. Wait for it gets close up. So Okay, Gallimimus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor. I think I saw a Stegosaurus in the other one. Yeah, Stegosaurus, uh, Metriac. Oh, God, I don't know that one. It's a, I know it's a Pterosaur, I think. I don't know how to pronounce his name, though. I think it's a Pterosaur. You know, if you were better at it, the job. Yeah. And you no would have been able to get away with this a lot better without people dying. Yeah. He doesn't get paid what... I don't know why he's even hired. He's so incompetent, yeah. and he doesn't even have a good personality. Like, how the heck did you get hired? Who yeah. thought you could do shit? I do like this. Okay, what I touched. You didn't touch anything. We just stopped. <laughs> Yeah, here they something they would know right now something's up, and I'm pretty sure they would be like, okay, get someone in a jeep and go pick up those people. See, he's so incompetent, he let the bug shut down the whole park. Yeah. Well, it's implied the reason he set off he shut off some fences is so he could get through because he's going through a lot of the fences himself. <laughs> yeah, but he. But they, but here's the thing. There, well, I I saw you say something, but I didn't actually hear you. What was that? I'll let you in eight. Can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you. Okay. Because I was saying stuff and you weren't doing anything. So like, right, hello. Oh, I'm eating. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here they say that some fences are still on. The, but like I said, you remember how I said that the park was sectioned off? There are fences here, 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 here. That way that if there is an escape, the dinosaur is still contained. They, There's no reason you would set, shut off the fences containing the dinosaurs. You just sec, you just shut off the ones sectioning off the park. Oh, that's what I said when you didn't hear me. I said he's an idiot because you're yeah. right. He, he should have been – he should have planned this better so that it wouldn't be suspicious and dinosaurs mm -hmm. wouldn't get out and eat him. If I remember correctly, in the book, he does it more like that, where it's like no one suspects he's a, that is the storm that knocks out the power. It's the storm combined with him because he does have a he does like he does show off the perimeter the fences sectioning it off, but it's the storm that knocks off the dinosaur power. I think it's like I said, it's been a while. I I don't recognize who that actor was. So. Here. Permission denied, and you didn't say the magic. I hate this hacker crap. Phone Nedry's people in Cambridge. He came How from Cambridge? Phone? Yeah. I, I'm assuming that's where his family lives, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the goat is still there, mind you. <laughs> Which, why? Um, yeah. And uh, obviously fake rain. They're obviously in a studio doing fake rain stuff. I do like this part here. How is the yeah, radio out? 
But li- well, listen, listen to what he's saying. Is like kids get scared. He's obviously he's like I'm not scared, but he's actually terrified. <laughs> yeah. They're in a box in your seat. How? Why do they leave these in the car seats? What? Why would that be there? This makes no sense. Are they night goggles? Yeah. They're night vision. Obviously, it's for night tours. Would they do that, though? Sure. Then why doesn't everybody else have one? There's only one pair. No, he's... Maybe there are more. They just didn't find their boxes under their seats. Mm. Because they're not curious like he is. Uh, in the, I'm gonna mention this real quick. In the book, um, Tim is actually older than Lexi. Lexi's the like a little girl, the age of Tim, and Tim's the uh, Tim is the age of Lexi. Um, and uh, he, they didn't find the those. Uh, I think he bought them along with them. Oh. Here, the water, the close up of yeah. the water shot. It's coming. You know it's how coming. they did that. You know how they did that. They dropped something in it. No, guitar string. There it is. The did really well guitar made. string hitting the bottom of the panel. Uh, I don't know if T-Rex actually walking would would cause that much of a stomp. Because if it did, there's no way a T-Rex could ever catch a predator <laughs> or catch a prey. My gosh, well, I am losing fast. my words today. That's the point, right? It'd be like a train. By the time you hear them coming, it's already too late. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I'm going to say this now. We do know that T-Rexes were probably primarily scavengers. We do know they did actively hunt, but it's more likely that they were most likely sca- mostly scavengers. And here, everybody notices uh, the goat's gone. The goat's gone. Right there. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think the T-Rex arm would be that long to reach up and grab that. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. Here we go, Rexy. In the in the movie or in the book, there are actually two Tyrannosaurus. One's a juvenile, one's the fully adult. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Well, it's actually the the it's the the um, because there's another guy with them on this tour. I don't remember who it is because De- Gennaro, the lawyer, survives the tour. But I, but it's, there's another guy who gets eaten by the juvenile. He's not in, bit eaten by Rexy. He's eaten by the juvenile. If I remember. How correctly. did they not notice the T Rex right next to them? Yeah, how did they not notice? <laughs> I don't know. Is it because the it's raining that hard? Apparently, well, in the book, no one can see it except for Tim because Tim's the only one with the with the oh with the glasses on. Yeah, which and they have, have, a, they, have a walkie talk, they have a walkie talking between the cars, so they're talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. This is all CGI for T Rex, pretty much. Does need to be said? It's very unlikely T Rex would actually roar like that. But it's scary as shit. It, yeah. Well, that's why they did it. It's it's dramatic as all heck. It's very Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, it is. Very Godzilla. Here, this is just me being stupid. Because here's the thing. If you would just sit in the car, not, I mean, just sit in the car, the T-Rex would come up. It would probably nudge the cars a little bit, but it would pretty much get bored and go away real quick. You turning the light on, however. Why? What, like, what does she think she's doing turning the light I don't on? No, know. I have no idea. Uh, here's the thing. Don't even turn it off. Just turn it upside down so the light's shining into the car. It, like, onto the, and, yeah, don't close the door because now the T-Rex knows you're in there. But like I said, if you if no, if no you were just sit there, not move, the T-Rex would come up. It probably nudge the cars around a little bit, but it would just move right. around quickly because, like, you're not food. You're not food. Whatever. But see, now it knows, oh, there's... Oh my god, she still has the light on. Yeah. They did a really good a shot of that. They did a really good job on the eye there. Yeah, I'm moving in the light and being um, dilated. Yeah. Roar deafeningly. <laughs> Roaring deafeningly. Mine said roar, growling ferociously. <laughs> I wouldn't think that's a growl. That's more of a roar. Or maybe it was roaring ferociously. I did say growling. Yeah, no, that was definitely not a growl. 
Yeah. Again, how have you not? How have you not figured out how to turn the light off? And uh, this part here. No. <laughs> If the T Rex broke through the glass like that, it's eating you now. There's I don't no think that's glass. Really that's under. clearly not glass. Otherwise, it would have shattered. It's polymer. Yeah, uh, it's a plastic, I guess, of some kind. But yeah, there's no way that they that the T Rex would not be eating them at this point. And yeah, they're breathing so heavily that they can't even see. No, it's just that the, it's cold outside, and their body heat's making it warm inside, and thus maybe steaming up the glasses it's yeah, like here. when you're a kid on a school bus and the all this windows steam up yeah and there t-rex like okay this should be food why isn't the why is this not tasty <laughs> well like i said had they just sat there and not moved not done anything the t-rex like i said it probably would have come up nudge the time nudge the cars a little bit but it certainly would have wouldn't have done this yeah, it's just crunching. It. Yeah, it's sinking into the mud. Holy cow. He's like, I didn't think this through completely. Well, uh, back well the, 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 the enclosure. You see, you when he throws the flare, T Rex goes after the flare. It's just him deciding, I'm going to take it further. <laughs> Yeah, get the kids. Come chasing me. It's like, no, it's not after the flare now. It's after you. <laughs> Run faster. Yeah. Oh, is he actually going to the bathroom? No. No, he's not. Ouch. Oh, and that's when he gets injured. Yeah, and there. Yeah, you want to talk about uh, spare, spare no expense? That toy, that entire thing fell apart super easily. And, uh, yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, that would be very painful. Because here's the thing. When he's doing that, he'd still be alive. Think about that. <laughs> the seat's got my... The seat is pinning his leg there. <laughs> and, uh, no one notices the thumb, thud, thud of... Screaming hysterically. Um, doesn't need to be said. Uh... At this time, even at this time, we knew that T-Rex could see if you were standing still. It wasn't that the T-Rex could... The reason that in the book the T-Rex couldn't see you is because the genetics... It was having... Gene the genetics didn't work, basically. But... Yeah. It because doesn't, of the it, genetics? Yeah, the, it, the genetics weren't work. Were, it's gene it was having a genetic problems, basically. I don't remember how to say it, but... But because the genetics are faulty, it could it could only see based on movement. That's that's wow. why they did in the books. But in the but if it's a real T Rex, it'd be able to see you just fine. Again, how was it not T Rex? And now they're on top of a cliff. Hmm. Just a five seconds ago, the T Rex was able to step from there yeah, over. That's the exact same place where the T Rex bit yeah. through. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, just five seconds ago, there was no cliff. Now there's a cliff. What? <laughs> hey, mind you, if there were a cliff like this, the T Rex wouldn't have gotten out and they'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, here. <sighs> Why don't you grab the wire, dude? <laughs> Roar. Growling ferociously. It said, mine just said roaring there. <laughs> yeah, here he's figured out exactly what he did to be able to get to the white rabbit object. Yeah, and we have to go through two million. Holy cow. How do you get that all set up in such a short amount of time? And here. If, if you'd be good enough to take a gas jeep to go get my grandchildren. Why have you not done that already? Wouldn't that be the first thing you did when, the, when everything shut off? <laughs> Tense instrumental music. Uh, where's the entire IT team like you suggested? They'd be easily able to... Yeah, seriously. 
That's just it. This dude is the only IT guy they have. Like, Apparently. nobody thought that would be an issue. What if he needs to take vacation or have surgery? Mm -hmm. Or any You can't have one guy be in charge of your IT system like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like, well, like you said, what if he's going on vacation? What if he has medical issues? What if... What if his wife, what if he's getting married? You know, there's a hundred different things. <laughs> yeah, here. Which the sucker off to that thing, and I tie it to that thing over there. I'm pretty sure the boat's left by now, but. Whee! Um, they cut it out. They cut it out. Uh, in the actual VHS, there's an actual, you hear like a slipping sound effect. That you no, hear in a cartoon. They cut it out. They didn't actually have it there. No, I actually heard it. It was a high pitch. James claims it's still in the HBO Max version. Uh, I didn't hear it on my DVD, but. <laughs> He's like having a Velma moment now. Yeah. Yeah, Velma, I can't, I can't see without my glasses, even though it's like you can still see something. I mind you, I'm very blind. So I can't. Uh, like here, like the computer screen. I see a white space with kind of a dark space here, but I can't see any. Like, if you were to hold up any finger, I can't even see you pretty much. Let's put it that way. It would all blur together, yeah. I remember yeah. those days, and then I got LASIK. Yeah. I'm looking into getting LASIK now, but it's expensive, and I've also it heard that my eyesight's so bad that even LASIK wouldn't be able to do it. I don't know if that's true or not, but. That's not, uh, there's. Like I said, not... I don't know if that's true or not. That's just a rumor I heard, so. It's fair. Uh, here. Baby Dilophosaurus! Uh, because we know Dilophosaurus were actually not tiny. They were big. They could grow up at least 20 feet. And they also didn't spit venom. I don't He's remember... They... What's up? No, this one. They said earlier this one's poisonous. Yeah. Uh, actual Dilophosauruses were not. Oh, that's... I don't funny. remember... I don't remember if they had the frills or not. I think they did, but I could be wrong. I like the little chirping noises it makes. Yeah. No wonder it's stink. Um, it does need to be said that there's actually a theory that there are actually two Dilophosauruses, and I'll explain why in a bit. Because it just super fast ended up in his car right now? No, yeah. yeah. The, the, the theory is that there's another Dilophosaurus inside the car right now. No, there is. This one, this one, like trying to like, car. <laughs> yeah. Eye shot. Nice shot. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Here's, it doesn't really make sense that if there were Dilophosaurus in the car, because if there were Dilophosaurus in the car, it would have gotten out by now. But, but yeah, that. because yeah, now there's no Dilophosaurus. Yeah, yeah how did it run over him to get into the car? It, yeah, that just barely came through the window on the other side. If there's one, but like I said, that's why there's a theory that there's two. Is that there's one that was inside the car already, and there was this other one yeah. that was, you know, outside the car. That's the theory, anyway. But it does need to be said. Um, and even in the book, they described that it wasn't the Dilophosaurus wasn't tiny because it may. I won't. I won't get into what it does, but it's obviously big. Let's just. Because if I were to get it, it'd actually be kind of graphic. <laughs> so I'm not going to describe it. She's freaking the hell out now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, he left us. Okay, yeah, I'm not leaving you. So I'm just getting your brother. You hide here. <laughs> Stay here. What's this pipe for, I wonder? It Is just it kind of looks like a drain. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a drainage system of some kind. Yeah, wouldn't you be calling up? Hey, Tim, you in there? Hello, Tim. Talk to me. That's what he's trying to do. He's not calling up. He's he's just walk, crawling, crying up the three now. Dinosaurs belly in the bellowing in the distance. Now, now he's going up. Now he's climbing. I hate climbing trees. I hate trees. <laughs> I oh man, I had tree houses when I was a kid. Did you ever climb trees when you were a kid? Um, <laughs> once or twice, and then I. Was too scared to come back down, and that was the end of that. 
Uh, me and my brother, me and my brothers would just jump. <laughs> we were boys, so it was very much if you broke a leg, cool. <laughs> yeah, he's obviously uh, he's alive, but oh man, he's screwed up. <laughs> that, whatever, who cares? <laughs> yeah, I probably would have thrown up too if I were in that. <laughs> Yeah, and like I said, he's obviously freaking out. Why wouldn't you, if you were to come up to here, wouldn't it be a better idea to go around to the other, like climb underneath the car, go to the other side and get him? Probably. Yeah. Although I really, really doubt that the car would get stuck in the tree like that and not immediately just fall out. It's more dramatic this way. Yeah, I know it's more dramatic this way. <laughs> Yeah, you're standing on the door. Hang on, me. Yeah, that car is so. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever been to a treehouse? No. Yeah, me too. Uh, just move to the side. Just moved over. Yeah, just move over. Yeah, here. It's like uh, just go. Uh, just. Get out of its way! <laughs> there are branches all around the tree. You can climb to the other side of the tree. And there, I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't hit the branch and stop. I'm pretty sure it hit the branch and either fall forward or just one other side. And that tree branch is apparently very strong to be able to lift, hold a car like that. Yeah, this is overly dramatic because just shift around to the other side. Of, oh, there's no branches on the other, other side of the tree. For some <laughs> they did a really poor job. Yeah, I saw that no too. There's no branches there. There's no branches there. Why? How is it? How is it a tree growing up that just has? Yeah, here. I was like, the I do Aladdin. love this line though. I do love this line. We're back in the car. <laughs> yeah, but at least you're out of the tree. <laughs> I do love that lid. Yeah, here. Uh, now they know Rexy's out. I like how they don't even, like, really look at the fact yeah. that the fence is eaten until, yeah, no like... Oh, yeah, well, hold on, listen. I think this was Gennaro. I think this was too. T-Rex didn't actually eat him. It ripped him in half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in there. With the fence down and water in and out of any paddock of light. And how did Ian, how is Ian like not, hey, help me? Because he, he is knocked unconscious. He is conscious. Listen. Remind me to thank John for lovely. So he is conscious. He is awake and conscious. But he's probably like in and out right now. Yeah, from in the, the in the book, totally in, in the book, he's very now. delusional. Please now. chance it. Because <laughs> because uh, in the like I said, he does die in the books, but he survives the T Rex attack. It's like he just like gets an infection or something that kills him. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, and she looks. How'd they? How'd you get down there so fast? Wait, how the fuck did she get down there so fast? She's yeah. a liar. They're not here. Thank you, dude. Hey, you're a tracker. Follow the footprints. Air distant thudding. Yeah. Ian's like, oh no, not again. Uh, yeah, yeah. He said, not again, not again. <laughs> uh wait, we got another water puddle shot. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. I, do, I do love the reflection. I do love his reflection in the puddle when we see that. That's kind of I cool. just remembered I have seen this movie since high school because we played a drinking game out of it. And one of the things was you had a drink every time they had a water shot like that. <laughs> How drunk were you at the end of that game? Probably pretty drunk. 
Yeah, yeah probably. Oh, you did that. Were you? Did you? No, yeah. you must not. And have Rexy right that. through the foliage that was somehow concealing it. Because I watched this with Nick and James and Carrie because the uh, um the museum was having a twenty one and overnight with for Jurassic Park because they have. Oh, and here this this scene is going to go, time. but the tickets sold out, so we just had our own Jurassic Park night. Gripping instrumental music continues. I'm, why does the T-Rex just eat them? Why does it bother headbutting the car? Because I think it's trying to figure out how to eat them. Yeah. And maybe it thinks the car is edible. Who knows? <laughs> this is my favorite. Well, probably thinks the Hold car on, is like a skeleton or something, right? You got to break through the car to get at the meaty bits inside. You were talking for for another you good long. You think they'll add? They think they'll add that to the tour? Which reminds yeah, me of a story I heard. Of the, which reminds me of a story I heard about the Jaws ride. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, a Funko Pop of uh, sexy. Ian, I mean, uh, injured Ian Malcolm. <laughs> Said, did you just say sexy Ian? That's what they That's refer. What... They refer to him as sexy Jeff Goldblum, but it's injured <laughs> Ian Malcolm. But it's totally. Yeah. Well, like I said, we'll have your favorite shotgun job, but yeah. I have a Funko Pop of it. Wow, really? I do. I need, can you send me a picture of that sometime? I, I will. It. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm shocked they made a Funko Pop out of that. Are you, though? Not really, actually. <laughs> Not really. Because they make one of everything. And this part here, uh, we're going to hide in the tree. Wouldn't that just be like convenient biting height? They're herbivores they're not gonna eat them but if the t if the t-rex were to come up to them i think the thought process is to be above the t-rex they're not, they're not high enough to be above the t-rex though i don't know what their thought process is maybe the branches will keep the t-rex at bay i don't i don't know that, that that's more likely dinosaurs bellowing in response don't let don't let the monsters come over I do love that. Her little brother is like trying to egg her on. They just do what they do. Yeah. It uh, does need to be said. Um, let me just. Because this dinosaur has a very long neck, its head's very small, meaning it has a very small brain, meaning these dinosaurs are very, very stupid. Like, yeah. I just like how they spent the whole beginning of the movie with him being like, I hate kids, just to stick him with the two kids to yeah. protect the well, whole that's, movie. That's why they did it, though. That's the oh, character I know. development. And also, I actually should say, there's actually, um, on the sensor, because they're so stupid, they actually have another nerve patch here on, the, on their back, which controls how they freaking walk. <laughs> Because, like I said, they're so stupid that they don't even know how to walk. They have to have a second quote quote brain to know how to move. And him telling him cracking jokes. Dead. Yeah, do you think he saw us, Rex? <laughs> Very funny. Then we'll never wake up. Well, well, he says, I'll, I'll stay awake. I'm going to be hooking. Yeah. Uh, staying awake is not easy. Especially nope. now. Uh, I think my record of staying awake is 36 hours. I don't remember, though. How long? Do you know how long you're, the longest you've ever stayed awake was? I think my record is 36 hours, and that was hard. Oh, and I remember at the end of that, I was your like... Drive home? Hmm? Your drive home? Home is relative. Oh, this, I think this is my favorite scene of this movie. This ice cream scene that they have, I think this is my favorite scene in the movie. What happened to the tropical storm rain? It's over. Apparently the tropical storm's gone now. I thought it came back. Apparently it's gone now. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. It came, it came and went very quickly. Who knows? Even though tropical storms, I don't think go that quickly. But yeah. I gave him a shot of morphine. You have to be careful with that, which reminds me of a story I could get into, but I won't bother because it's history ran. But 
Yeah. Yeah. And him just, my grandkids, they might be dead. He's complete. Yeah, he's so broken that he doesn't even, yeah, he's just. <laughs> like I said, this is why this is my favorite scene in the movie. Just he's so broken because he does, he thinks his grandkids are probably dead. He doesn't. Yeah. yeah. His, but also, how are they not? They know the T Rex is out. Yeah. How are they not taking better precautions at this point to stay safe? They, who knows? Like, yeah. they're extremely calm right now. Yeah. Knowing the T-Rex is out loose. Yeah. I mean, I get that you don't want to leave your grandkids behind. Yeah. But. But, yeah, you would think they'd be in a shelter of some kind. Yeah, you like would said, think that they would have built bunkers around the island too for people to take shelter in in this event and have like underground tunnels or some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be a bad idea. They, yeah, they well, they they're in the um, Camp Cretaceous. There actually are underground tunnels, and it's actually it's a horrible idea. Dinosaurs to get into or something. I don't know. Well, um, in the in the in Camp Cretaceous, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> and here's the thing: it's not even a small dinosaur; it's a Carnotaurus, which is big. Yeah. So again, um, I I don't think they got this all the way. No shit! You should have hired more than one person and yeah, paid him enough money. He's... Yeah, he's like, when we rebuild, we'll have better. Next time, we'll be flawless. I feel like this was Tony Stark's exact uh, mindset. Oh, Ultron didn't work, but the next time I make a robot. Yeah. And then he yeah. Well, yeah, but it is, this is, yeah, like you said, this is Tony Stark's exact mindset. Yeah. You tell him, Laura Dern. Thank you. Yeah. I do like that. She takes a scoop of ice cream. <laughs> Apparently the ice cream's really good, though. <laughs> and here. Spared no expense. You spared a lot of expenses. <laughs> Let's be um, real. With hiring Nedry. Like, again. No, there's, there's a lot more than that. <laughs> here we go. Nom, 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 nom. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, he did fall asleep. But yeah, he's no like, crap. <laughs> I mean, they're at least thirty feet above Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right? Thirty feet, yeah. No way. It's a brachiosaurus. It's clear. That part gets me. It's like, go away. It's clearly eating the leaves. What are you worried about? <laughs> uh, being accidentally mistaken for a leaf. Just because they don't want to eat you doesn't mean they might not. Get you while they go you out, the for, get you out pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, here. If if it were to really try, it would easily pull him out of the tree. But I do like the scene. Just playing around with it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it sneezes on them, right? What's up? I thought it was going to sneeze. Kind of a big cow. I like yeah. cows. This part here is a kind of a. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, come over here. Come here. And. Yeah, yeah, it does sneeze on her. <laughs> She's just covered in snot. Yeah. And that's so gross. <laughs> yeah, yuck. Yeah, no, she'll never try anything new. I'm just going to sit, and she's just like, I'm going to sit in my room and stay at a computer. Apparently, she's a hacker. <laughs> I prefer to be called a hacker. Nobody likes to be called a hacker. Yeah. And here... This actually, in the actual um, book, this happens much later in the movie. Dinosaurs are breeding. 
Yeah, in this part here. Uh, how do you have this knowledge, dude? <laughs> Why are you smelling the egg? Why wouldn't you? Because I'm sure it just smell awful. And what are you going to learn from smelling it? Curiosity. And by the way, this is true. There are certain frog species that can change or that can change from male to female. Even coral fish can do that too. So there's yeah. a lot of species of animals that can change their change gender. So life found a way. Thank you. Here we are. There it is. is. <laughs> Sexy Ian Malcolm. Your favorite shot in the movie. They made a Funko Pop of it. Come on. It's everyone's. It's such a ridiculous shot. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like they don't need to do that shot, but yeah, just I'm gonna sit here, shirt open. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> so ridiculous. Excuse me, you gotta get the fan service for the ladies in here. Because <laughs> that's what this movie was missing. Well, it's like with Top Gun, they had the entire shirtless volleyball scene. So that's yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, apparently in Maverick, they have another shirtless volleyball scene, except they have women this time. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like what up? this is important. I can See, sum up exactly. They have a way yeah. to kill all the dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah, basically what they're saying is they we have to give them lysine, otherwise they fall into a coma and die. The problem is the plant eaters are like, they realize that they're getting low on lysine and they feel it. So they eat plants that are high in lysine, which they have on the island, which was not a good idea. Um, yeah. And then the, then since the predators eat the plant eaters, well, now they're getting content. Now, well, it's like, oh, look, this dinosaur has plenty of lysine. I'm good. Is that how they get around that? Because I remember last That's time. That's how they survive. Yeah. Okay. Well, in the books, the island's well, pretty much be your plot. Okay. In the in the book, after this whole event, the island is pretty much nuked. It... No, okay, good. <laughs> you were holding so perfectly still there. I didn't know if you actually lost you or not. But yeah, in the book, after after everything happens, they firebomb the island. That would make sense. Yeah, but then you can't make sequels. Uh, they still make sequels because there's another island. So, yeah, it's like here. Uh, everything, uh, yeah, everything worked. I just got to reset the breakers. Uh, this is a bad idea. Yeah, here. Why were the breakers so far away? Yeah, well, here. And again, well, no, why? Go ahead. Uh, he's just saying, first, for everybody's safety, we're all going to go to the bunker, except for Mr. Arnold, who's clear to walk across the facility across to get the breakers. Uh, why don't you send the game warden with a shotgun out with him to set the breakers? Yeah, here this is this is the shot that they that have, that they showed Steven Spielberg to get them to do uh, to get them to do CGI. The Gallimimus is right, running. No, they're it's a stampede. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 vegetarians, but um, if they run over you, you're gonna die. Yeah, I, I watched The Lion King. I know that. Uh, it does, and uh, doesn't even be said in uh, in the Jurassic Park video game. You can actually ride them because <laughs> there is a Tim Jurassic Park. Park video game. If they're flocking because they're running from someone, yeah, you, well, you got to worry about the stampede, and you got to worry about what they're running from. Well, because here's the thing: normally, normally, if there's if it's just something running, you could stand there; they'll just walk around, they'll just run around you, no problem. It's when they're stampeding, when they're panicking. Then they're liable will just plow right through you because they're panicking. I mean, even mobs of people do the same thing in stampedes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ouch. Rexy is hungry. <laughs> uh, this part gets me. Is um, do you do you see how it eats? Uh, why are you still there? 
Because if they move, then they'll be seen by the T Rex. Yeah. Yeah, keep low stapled. Uh, but the part that really gets me is Tim. Yeah, look at all that blood. He's like trying to get closer. <laughs> yeah, something went wrong. Yeah. Thank you. Why didn't Tim go? Uh, why isn't he in the Jurassic World series? He's going to lose his leg. Uh, in the books, he doesn't. Well, in the books, he dies. But Disneyland in the- opened in 1955. Yeah, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and that didn't open until much later. Yeah, when did Pirates of the Caribbean come out? Not yeah, the, the ride, the ride. The ride opened, I think, in the seventies or I no, the sixties. Right. It opened a couple it, of years after the park did. Yeah. Anyway, his, he's got a valid point, regardless. Yeah. If it breaks well, down, the skeletons aren't going to animate themselves and like eat. Yeah. Them. If it breaks down, the pirates don't come up and you know and. Uh, yeah, be pirates. Let's put it that way. Everyone should have a gun. Yeah, and I, he puts it directly on his leg. <laughs> that part always gets me. It's like, okay, I'm gonna lay out this map. Puts it directly on his leg. He's like, ow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this part gets me here. It really ought to be me doing this because I'm a, this this is my park. I should be doing this. This is my park. These are my babies, basically, is what he should be saying. Because you're old and can't outrun these dinosaurs and I'm young and I can't outrun these dinosaurs either. Like I'm saying, because like I'm saying, the, what they, because the reason he's saying it is like, oh, I'm a guy, you're a girl, I should be doing it. When in your actuality, it should be, this is my park, these are my mistakes, I should be the one fixing it. That's what he should but he's not that cool, obviously. But yeah, he's obviously not that cool. Instead, he gets into a whole, and well, she has the whole line of, he's not we'll Victor discuss Herbert sexism and Jones survival and situations later. <laughs> yeah, and the raptors are out. Oh, no. Uh, I should mention, velociraptors are actually not that big. Velociraptors are very, very like, small. Nice. Like, uh, what kind of dog do you have? They're turkey size. What's that? a boxer. Yeah, a velociraptor is about the size of your dog. Lots oh, of the raptors didn't get out until now. Yeah. No, they went out. Well, they ate. No, the they. Thing? Well, yeah, but that's what they got yeah, out when they when they, when they turned off the power. Yeah, they got out when they turned off all the power. Yeah, here. We can make we run. No, we, we can't. We're being hunted. Uh, it does need to be said that uh, the game warden Muldoon does survive the book. I don't remember exactly how they did this scene. Like I said, it's been a while since I've read the book, so I don't remember exactly how this goes. Yeah, run towards the said. Why are you running? Why are you having her run and you not going with her? Why isn't he, she telling him, hey, there's going to be two more that like attack you from the side? Well, why doesn't he know? He's, I, he's to- acting like he doesn't. Yeah. He's supposedly a game warden in Kenya. He would work with lions and stuff like that, which, by the way, do the exact same thing. <laughs> Does she find his arm in the shed? Or, uh, yeah, it's I later. It was outside. It, no, she finds it in the shed. It oh, happens which later. means it not inside then. Yeah, the raptor came in. Uh, why isn't he like, oh, where's Muldoon? Or apparently he's just, he, he might be thinking like, oh, Molden was just behind her, not with her. Who knows? Mm-hmm. I understand how to read a schematic. No, you don't. <laughs> that becomes a plot point later. Okay, hold on. There are some pretty big gaps in those in that fence. You mean to tell me they can't? Now let's climb it. Yeah, no, there there were some pretty big gaps in that fence. I'm yeah, pretty you sure could get the girl and the kid through. The yeah, the kids could. He might have to climb it. But I'm pretty sure the kids could get through. Yeah, there are some pretty big gaps there. I'm pretty sure you can fit through. Even he probably could probably can fit through. But no, they're magically tighter now. They're magically tighter now. That's right here. That's not actually how you test if something's electrocuted. Uh, what you actually do is you don't grab it. You flip your hand like this. <laughs> Because if you grab it and if it's electrocuted, your muscles are going to tense up and you won't be able to let go. So if you do it like this, 
your muscles will tense up and you'll just and your arm will flick back. But yeah, they could easily. Uh, yeah. No, I'm still pretty sure they can fit through those gaps. Yeah, yeah those Tim and Lexi, easy. I'm positive could fit through. Like I said, Alan might have to climb up, but Tim and Lexi could easily get through. Yeah, I, I screwed up. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually how you should be doing it. Follow the piping, because the piping is going to lead directly to the power box. What is Ian Malcolm? Is he a, is he an engineer or he's another scientist? scientist. Uh, he's a chaotician. What? He's a, basically a chaotician, I think, is the, what they call him. <clears throat> yeah, I do like here. It's like, uh, I, I think I can get all the way up and get down to the other side before you can even get to the top. Well, you give me respect. Yeah, Thank you, brother and sister rambling. Oh my gosh, why does this thing keep doing this? I know, stop it. Would you pause again? No, um, on the Be Live site, they have these constant pop ups of stop Russian yeah. aggression. It's like, stop popping up. I am well aware of what's going on in Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, and here. Because this is apparently resetting the power is a lot harder here than it is to uh, actually do it at home, but that does make sense because considering that they have you know an entire theme park to run. Let's see. Push to charge. Push to. When do they have to press the yellow button to push to charge first? And now you have to go through each individual thing to get it to turn off. Just drop. Yeah. Well, just you keep climbing down. No, that's I, fine. I, he's he's going to get electrocuted, but not die. I well, already here, well, here's part. my question. Would he actually get electrocuted? Is he grounded? So would he actually be electrocuted? I don't know. It'd be running through his system back to the other side. Yeah, but that wouldn't. But like, if you like, if you hang off of power lines, you won't die because you're not grounded. That's how birds can land on power lines and not get zapped. You have to be grounded for electricity to actually kill you. So, I don't know if this would actually do it. But granted, his feet are on other wires. Maybe that. Uh, maybe that grounds him. Who knows? But like if you're like I think if you're standing on styrofoam and you tech, touch an electric fence, you won't actually get shot. I think. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. I think he was pretty. I'm pretty sure he could have just let go and dropped, and he would have been fine. He wasn't that high up. I mean, that's what he was going to do, but he just needed to count to three before to do it because he was scared of the height. Yeah. Yeah, and here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Which, uh, which is that's kind of the first scene that gets me of a dinosaur coming in and roaring instead of just biting. Ouch! Yeah, it, it would have no problem. Yeah, in here. And notice, I like how she's like, oh, yeah. I do like that because she feels his arm and she's like, oh, he's alive. He's alive right there. Nope, it's just his arm. And apparently she injured her leg. Yeah, you'd be freaking out now. Yeah. You just found a guy's arm. Yeah, you'd be freaking out. Which there was, was a dinosaur chasing her. What? <laughs> Regardless of the arm, there was a dinosaur chasing her. Yeah, that too. Yeah, and he apparently, mind you, this is supposedly all like this would have been happening while she was resetting the power, supposedly, because otherwise it's like, why didn't you just go with her? You easily could have made it past the dinosaurs. Well, he thought he was being the distraction so that she could go do the power. Also, how many velociraptors are there? In and the book, there's still two around three. him, and then one was hunting her. Yeah, in the book there are a lot more because they've been breeding. Uh, but uh, here we go. Here's the, here's another shot of the memes. <laughs> I like how it mugs at him, <laughs> even though it wouldn't actually mug at him, it would actually eat him. Predators, yeah. 
Predators, here's the thing. Predators don't just come up and mug at you. They don't just come up and go, oh, hi. They come up and eat you. And he's actually not – that's not actually how you perform CPR. Oh, I, I, he's at least like, doing something. This is more than most movies even attempt. Well, yeah. But I'm just saying he's got the ECR, CPR prank run. But uh, here's the trivia question. Do you know how to do CPR? Yes. Do you know, no, do you know the song that goes with it? There's a couple of different songs that go with it. Staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. That's a, that's another one. Drops the dust also works. Yeah, no, I won't do. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. That's that's how you know you're doing it right. Is if you sing that song in your head while you're doing CPR. That's what that's the what you should be going for. Like I don't know why they think they're safe in this building. Yeah. Well, I think he. I, I give up actually because you're right. The T Rex would get in there, no problem if they wanted to. <laughs> Big Ten, the piece of human toast. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good idea. Of if you're if you have kids in traumatic situations, make jokes like this. Is try to keep them distracted and make them laugh. Which this is a good way to keep them distracted. Here's a big tray full of desserts. <laughs> Here you go. Have all the cookies you could possibly want. That's a good way to get them distracted. You all fake. Yeah. And they just... Wouldn't she be going back to the bunker and they just somehow run into each other, I guess? Yeah. Oh, man. She's limping so bad. But the, okay, here's the thing: they have a big plate of absolute, like all the desserts you could possibly want, and they're still, and she's still eating healthy. What? Because she is older and knows that. Oh, uh, this part here. Is it more water in the glass? No, look this part. Look, look the Jello shaking, which is a yep. callback to the water shots. Because <laughs> Jello is mostly water. <laughs> Yeah, I do like I do like how the it goes by the raptor shadow goes by the raptors, but I actually think they actually should have lined up a little bit. They actually should have had a part where they line up perfectly before the head turns. Oh, by the way, your cat's tail is bucking your camera. <laughs> Say hi, Zools. No, I just look over and instead of your face, I see your cat's tail. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Yeah, this part here. Why don't you just get in the freezer? Like, get in the freezer and lock, because it does, I don't know. Granted, why does the raptor think there's food in there is my question. Uh, don't do that. You just tempted fate. <laughs> oh, look, they figured out how to open doors. And uh, Velociraptors were actually probably not pre uh, pack hunters. That is another thing. From all the evidence we see of Velociraptors, they were actually solitary creatures. Well, granted, T-Rex was a pack hunter. We know T-Rex lived in packs. So I'm not sure I'm not sure if that makes it any more terrifying or not. It's inside. Yeah, but like I said, Velociraptor is actually not that big. There's actually a raptor that species that would be that big and not, if not bigger, like Utah raptors would be huge. Hey, that's the same noise that they continue to make in the new movies. Yeah, because that's what? the same thing they made in the Lego game. <laughs> oh gosh, the Lego game in this is hilarious. Like they have a scene of a guy getting eaten by T Rex, and it's the guy starts brushing the T Rex's teeth. Uh, this part here bugs me. Here, the the raptor look. It would the raptor would be able to see them there when it did that. And here, uh, yeah, the raptor would see them here too. Uh, and it doesn't even be said in the book that raptors also tap their claws, but like I don't remember why they do it. But yeah, that when the ta raptor there was tapping his claws, they could do that in the book. <laughs> And the raptors just decide to be a dick and hit the, all the pots and pans. Okay, now what knocks this pan over? Because he doesn't touch that little ladle. It just falls over. Yeah. Uh, 
Ah, crap. Yeah. But here's the th what's another thing is the two raptors are walking right beside each other. Why wouldn't they spread up? You know, isn't that the entire thing of how raptors move? They split up and just and you know investigate. Uh, here, uh, you're doing this wrong. Don't tap it because now they see you. What you do is you pick up the ladle and chuck it to the far side of the room. No, she's an idiot, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Although this part here is hilarious. What? Yeah. Let's. And it's a reflection. Bang. Ow. I don't think it would be that. I don't think that would have knocked it out. I don't think the metal was thick enough to be able. I'm pretty sure the metal would have just buckled in. Because those those cabinet metal, the cabinet metal they use is not that very thick. And uh, here, the raptor would easily be able to catch up with him. Yeah, he's slumping. Everyone's limping in this movie. Yeah, everybody's out. Oh, look, fresh fish. Uh, there's no way that they would have ice on the floor like that. It was melting. Um, maybe. I think the insulation would have been better like that, but yeah. But maybe. What about the other two raptors still? Oh, one's passed out. Yeah, what? Well, not passed out anymore. <laughs> And like I said, it just takes his deep, sweet time to go, huh? But yeah, like I said, there are three raptors. But yeah. We gotta reboot the system first. <laughs> oh, Ellie Beloved, hello! <laughs> Mugging for the camera. And yeah, well, I know how to open the door. And this part bugs me here. Yeah, where she's sitting is not would not be providing any pressure. No. Would not be whole, helping all that. Uh, Timmy, I think oh. she's a nerd and knows how to do computers. Yeah. No, but here's no, but here's the thing, Timmy. Go get the gun and give it to the adult. <laughs> Let, I mean, yeah, it's seriously, Timmy, you don't need to sit here and cheer her on. You don't need to be her cheerleader. Get the gun and give it to the adults. And again, you're not you're you're not helping hold that door closed in any way. Yeah, Al would pitch his hand, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Timmy, you don't need to be her cheerleader. God, go help the adults. And why do they have why don't they have manual locks? Is another thing. Yeah. There we go. And thank God they just so happened to have the door closed at that proper time. Right. You got everything back online. She's so creepy. I do like this part here. The phone starts ringing. They look at each other. What? <laughs> yeah, I do like that. His first worry is, are the kids okay? He's got to come through the glass. And the gun jam. That's an easy jam to clear. Nah. No, they're out of ammo, bro. May, if they're out of ammo, maybe. But they clearly show that the shotgun is jammed, and that's an easy jam to clear. Literally just do that, and you clear it. I don't think the Velociraptor needs that ladder. Yeah, the Velociraptor does not need that ladder. The Velociraptor is very tall and would eat as well, like, a, like here. I like the, um, the genetic code being projected onto its skin. Yeah, the, uh, this part here. Whee! <laughs> Apparently it's... Uh, ouch! Ouch! You're lucky it doesn't bite your foot. Here. Um, that's actually her stunt double, and she's not supposed to look up like that. So when the stunt double did that, they had to digitally change the face to Lexi because it was actually oh. a stunt double doing that. 
And again, here's another thing that always bugs me. We're going to crawl through the vents. Vents are not that big, and vents are not how you escape the facility. They're not the secret escape hatch. They're how you ventilate the damn place. So I really, really doubt they went from the control room all the way up to here. Or... So that one raptor got out of the shed, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Jump on the... Yeah, obviously those would not be real bones because real bones would have just shattered. I mean, you're not going to have real bones out in the middle of the world. He's not afraid to jump down there. Ow. Ouch. Yeah, and in the tip rib cage. Jesus, poor Tim has almost died so many yeah, times. He's almost he died, like, yeah. Well, there's an actual trope of it's called um, of of all of wall that is holy, and it's whenever there's something falling, they always manage to stand in the exact spot where the hole is, so it misses them. <laughs> this movie has it several times. This next movie has it. Yeah, oh, here. they're dead. Oh yeah, they're dead. Because here's the thing: the Raptors wouldn't just be coming up to eat. Wouldn't it be mugging? It would just attack and eat them. Oh, but don't worry, Rex is here. Because apparently, apparently no one realized. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that raptor would not go attack the T-Rex. I'm pretty sure that raptor would be like, oh, shoot, bail. <laughs> Look, now the doors magically open out. Yeah. Oh, they swing both it ways. Back. It swung back. It's it goes both they ways. They swing both ways. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, then how would they open up in the first place then? Because we saw when they were getting there, no one was opening the doors. They opened themselves. No, so, somebody was standing behind them and opened them. We never saw anybody. Did we miss that? There was they, literally no, people right behind them that opened anybody. the door. Oh, uh, there's the shot of, uh, oh, we got the sign. I never didn't see anybody, but hey. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. And, uh, all the mud is trashed across the, the Jurassic Park sign because in Gen. Yeah. And here he has this whole scene of everything I've worked for. Get on Remember the damn helicopter. Yeah. yeah, just get on the damn helicopter. Although, why doesn't the helicopter land on like the control center? Why does it land all the way over here? Because that's where the helicopter landing pad is. Why wouldn't they have the landing pad be closer? <laughs> In yeah. case the dinosaurs get out? <laughs> no. Although this is this is a part I do love. Because I, I listen to our Snark Fest a lot. And I love how a lot of times you'll be trying to play devil's advocate. Or I'll be trying to play devil's advocate. And then we just lose track halfway through. And like, we just give up. <laughs> I do love that. Because there have been a couple of times that make me laugh. Like, you'll be trying to get, like, you'll be saying, like, oh, well, they're doing this because this, uh, and I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, and here is his whole character development of, I don't like kids, I don't like kids, and now I want kids. I'd be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Not after this. I don't no want my own. These are good enough. I had my fun. <laughs> <laughs> you have enough pets. You're good. Yeah, and it does need to be said, in the original script, there was actually a scene where they were supposed to be attacked by pterosaurs, but the movie was so damn long anyway that they cut it. Well, they, they reference it in the, later, in, the, in the Jurassic World, but... Do they? Yeah. No. So, I, you haven't seen Jurassic World, have you? No, I have. Do I remember it? No, it was dumb. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, and here they're just talking. But yeah, there is an actual scene of... Them being attacked by pterosaurs. They just co opted it and used it for Jurassic World. But yeah. Ah. Sweeping instrumental music directed by Steven Spielberg. Yes. So that was Jurassic World. And uh, written with screenplay by Michael Crichton and David Kep. So yeah. That was Jurassic World, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy. Oh my gosh, you're all your name is in Dark the Mud now, lady. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sam Neil. It's Sam Neil. There you go. No, um, I don't know why I keep So yeah. Final thoughts? Jurassic Park. 
what do you think? Is it is it is this it really that scary for you? Or because I did see a lot of times you were hiding your eyes, but so I know you don't, don't you don't like dinosaurs. So all right. So I'm what probably you, what, gonna have nightmares tonight. Damn, I hope not. So aside from the movie, aside from the dinosaurs, what do you actually think of the movie? It's a good movie. I mean, obviously there's a lot of like seriously, how did they not think this? Yeah, how did better? they not put two and two together? <laughs> yeah, these people, but yeah, like we said, OSHA violations, it's just clearly being stupid. So well, I mean, like there's so many here in Costa Rica. Do you think they care about OSHA? What? They're in Costa Rica. They don't have to follow OSHA rules. No, I thought they leased it from the American government. No, it's from the Costa Rican government. Oh, see, there is no OSHA then. But there are still lawsuits. Yeah, oh, the lawsuits would be coming hot and heavy. Because how many people died? Yeah. (laughs) The lawsuits would be everywhere. But yeah. So, but yeah, as a movie, it's a brilliant movie. There are a lot of... What? Samuel L. Jackson. (laughs) What happened to B.D. Wong and everybody else on the island? Uh, uh, B.D. Wong got on the boat. It's it, they, He clearly says, I was hoping they hatch before I go to the boat. So he, yeah. Um, I should mention in the book, John Hammond actually dies. John Hammond actually dies in the book. Um, he gets eaten by compies. Because <laughs> what happens, because what happens is he's, wa- he's like walking somewhere. I don't remember exactly what happens, but he's walking somewhere and then the, over the intercom, the, there's a T-Rex roar over the intercom. He huh. freaks him out. He falls and breaks his legs. Ooh. And then, the, then he gets warmed by a bunch of compies and gets eaten. And compies are the tiny little dinosaurs we see in the next movie. So, yeah. Well, like I said, there's a lot of inconsistencies between this book and the movie. Because, like I, like I said, Ian Malcolm dies in the book. Uh, so... I said, like, Gennaro, I think, actually survives the movie. I think, actually, not think about it. I don't remember. I could be wrong. Like, it's been a while since I've read the book, so bear with me. But, yeah, well, there are differences. So, and when we when we do The Lost World, I will, uh, oh, hold on, I, let me ask. Do you want to do Lost World? Because I'm going to do Lost World. I'm just, do you want to be here? I can get someone else to do it with me if you want. What, the next movie? Yeah, Lost World. It yeah, I've never seen it, so it's fine. Okay. Okay. I heard it was dumb. It is dumb. It is. It is dumb. But it is a little bit more gruesome when it comes to dinosaurs. So that's why I'm asking. Well, Jacob, if I remember correctly, didn't they kind of go with the first three movies and they stole a little bit each time from the book? They stole a little bit each time. Well, it's a. <laughs> this is a whole. It's a whole thing because I was going to get into it in the next movie, but they. <sighs> I don't want to, I don't want to say it now because we're already at the end of the stream, but I was gonna explain it the first thing I we do in the next movie. So do you so well let me end the stream and then I can tell you guys if you want. So That's thank fine. you everybody for joining us. Have a good night. Good night. Oh uh, before I close stream, I will not be here next week because it is Easter. So there is not gonna be a Snark Fest next week. So bear with me. I'm sorry. But have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. Okay. <laughs>